Let's go, Barry. Go, start it. We're on fire. We are on fire. Hey, you want some ice cream? I'm a lizard boy. I'm a lot lizard again. Welcome hoarders here to be playing some more Grand Theft Auto 4. Um, right now we're going to see what I Bill was Bill his name? Bill Bell or something like that. Fucking What is it? Phil Bell. Not Bill Bell. Okay, yeah, we're heading down to see him. Um I honestly don't remember entirely who he is. I don't think we've done any missions for him yet. Um, he's also not very far away. Now what? Malik, I want to introduce you to John Gravelli, head of the Gambetti family. He needs help. I'm already working for a mafia family. They're scum. The Pegarino. They're not a family. Gravelli is the only man who can get what you need done. He's in Shockland Medical Center. Tell him he was sent by a new Okay, maybe later. Okay, so we have already three things of missions lined up to do. Okay. Let me see. I thought this was closer than it is. Apparently, I'm wrong. Oh, we're going to the fucking strip club. I think I remember this mission. I remember it not being easy. Hey, what up? Your friends are inside already. Come on. <clears throat> Catch the wave. Hope I don't got hey, Rona. Pal, check this out. Seven horse, seven race, hey, show show. Phil. Wow. Hey, pal. What's going on? Not too much. How are you? I'm good. Want to walk and talk? Sure. Tommy, give me a call if my big buddy calls. Tell him I went out to get some fresh air. No problem. Ridiculous. I'm a grown man walking around like a chump. I'm sorry about this. Hey, no problem. So you're a friend of Ray's? <laughs> a friend? No, oh, I do some work for him. No, I mean a friend. I don't understand. Whatever you say, he's a slime ball, but uh, he pays. <laughs> sure, pal, sure. Listen to me. The thing about Ray is, He's a good earner. He talks a lot of shit, but he's a good earner. That is. He's a rat doing an impression of a man. <laughs> That's pretty good. Bill! Bill! What? What? What do you want? <coughs> Mr. Boss, said you gotta head down to docks. Emergency. Said you'd understand. Ah, oh, shit. It's three days early. Man on the meal. What am I gonna do? What's the problem? Nico, I'm gonna have to take a chance with you, pal. Okay? Come on, let's go. We're gonna take his Lexus. Okay, listen, there's a truck waiting for us. It's under the overpass off Catskill Avenue. Drive us there. I'll drive us there as fast as I can. Okay, the we're here. In Liberty City by boat. That's what the... All right, this is the truck. Okay. Calculating route. Now we gotta go to the fucking boat yard. Why we need this truck? There must be a shitload of coke we're taking. There should be a lot of sugar. But that ain't the only reason why we're taking this truck. Some of my boys stole it from the enchiladas this morning. It's the one the Russians are expecting to come pick up the seat. We should be able to turn up and have them loaded up for us. Then we drive away, no questions asked. I don't know if anyone would give away a load of coke without asking any questions. Even the Russian coke runners ain't that stupid. Yeah, sure, this is just plan A. It's the one Jimmy P worked out. You and me know it ain't gonna work. And that the only way we're gonna be able to leave that place with the sugar is if all the Russians in there are dead. So why don't we use a more subtle approach? Not just drive right into the middle of them. Because these is the orders and we gotta follow them. That's the way things work. 
You ain't gonna be happy about everything you get told to do, are you? You're the boss. It ain't like I'm working for free. No, you ain't. And I ain't neither. That's why we gotta at least try to do what we're told to do. You're gonna learn that there ain't much in this life that you got control of. Whether you're putting yourself in harm's way because that's the way the skipper wants it done, or you're staying away from your kids because of a stupid court order and a malicious bitch of an ex-wife, there ain't that much control in anything. I've been around long enough to know that there are some things that we don't have a choice about. But there's other times where you've got to look at something and make a decision for yourself. I can't follow every order I'm given. Yeah, well, <coughs> maybe you're right. Maybe you ain't. I don't know. This is it. Keep a cool head and everything should be fine. Well, I'm backing him. When in doubt, back into wherever you're parking. Especially if you know you're going to be leaving fast. Or think you're going to be leaving fast. shipment i don't speak english fuck off hey amigo let's make this easy i just want to give the stuff to my boss and go home i don't let anyone in here until i get the word there's something wrong about you get out of the truck real slow nico looks like we're gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way shoot these commies hello wait do i not have a gun i don't have any weapons why do I not have any? Let me call. I'll get some weapons. I know a guy. I think. Fuck, I don't. Why do... Oh, I do have weapons. Okay, I'm good. My bad. My bad. My bad. I have anything better? As I calmly stay in here. God damn. I didn't even notice there were people up there. What's that? Oh, that's armor. La la la. How you doing, bud? Wait, did it, the other guy die? Oh, he fucking did! What a goddamn idiot. I am helping. Okay, fine. Dude, I don't know where half of these people are that are... Come on, bud. God. Okay, one second. I gotta call someone. Yep, okay, he's not home. Okay. I'm in the boat. We're heading to the docks in North Holland. Move out. Okay. Yeah, gonna go? Because he wants me to follow him. Of course there are.
Dude, I'm like never gonna hit any of these guys. Well, his boat's on fire. Okay, there we go. Now we just have to drop the boats off. I feel like I already did this mission, like, recently. Like, the last episode or something. But I know I didn't. It's just because there's, like, so few boat missions and all the boat missions are, like, the same. Because last time we landed over there. Or parked. Docked. Whatever you call it. We're fucking zipping though. Parking them up here. Now, how do you like that? <laughs> we got them. That's the important thing. Catch the wave. Yourself real good back there. Kept your head. That's a valuable trait. Thank you. See you later. Okay, now we gotta figure out another mission. I hate when it does that. I keep forgetting that this game does that stupid shit where. The second you spawn and start running, it's like, hey, you want to save? Okay, we're going to run up here. Let's see where... Okay, there's a mission down here. Uh, let's go see Francis. Um, I will see you guys when we get to him. What's Bernie What's want up, now? Bernie? This car? Enjoy! I only power walk or take cabs, so I figured I should pass this on to my savior. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. The Don't car? What we've got is worth more than money. Okay. You have I don't remember what car they have. But apparently they gave me a car. Blood Brothers. Why didn't you tell me Derek was back? What? Why didn't you tell me you was hanging around with my brother? I assumed if you cared, you'd have found out. Well, I have found out. Jesus, you know Derek's not well. No? No, he's sick. He always was. He's always off getting involved in someone else's fight, making a fool of himself, betraying people, going into hiding. He's an idiot and a coward. It's not my business. Whatever he stood for, he betrayed. He only left here in the first place because he was caught stealing from the Mafia. He's a pathetic wretch. Okay, I got it, so... Now, he's gonna ruin my life. If it wasn't bad enough having a bunch of crooks for brothers, now I've got him threatening to talk to a journalist about his family, about me! Well, tell him to be quiet. I am trying to become the commissioner of police. I'd be a laughing stock. Cop with a famous snitching traitor for a brother. Ugh. You know, the crooks I can handle. See, that I can spin. But not this. Not this. 
got the big problem then? Me? Ah, uh -uh. we, my friend. We. You stop it. <coughs> stop. Stop. Kill your brother. He's already dead. Just put him out of his misery. Fuck you. No, fuck you, pal. I'm gonna meet him in the courtyard park off Bismarck and Lansing. Deal with him. Make him a tragedy. Not a disaster. Do it, or I will put you away. Oh, don't push me. I think this is the mission that I remember that I thought was different. We'll see, though. If it is or not. I'm gonna not say anything because I don't know if it's it or not. Francis, I'm ready. What is the plan? I hope you got over yourself and are ready for some fratricide. Don't forget that I still got dirt on you. I know wow. this ain't nice. Neither of us has a choice. Of course. I got no choice. One McCreary brother is going to get me to kill another. That's what I like to hear. I want you to take the window cleaning elevator on one of the buildings around back in the courtyard. Get in position and put Derek out of his misery. Shit, I better get ready to act surprised. Don't miss, Nico. You might hit me. I'll hit who I'm aiming at. Don't worry. Can I get up? Yep. I can guarantee this is the one. Um, but now I'm thinking. Francis or Derek? Originally, I was thinking kill Francis because he treats me mean. But I think Derek is the one that was always on the park bench on cocaine. And he is a fucking nut job. And I have to find the alley because I can't fucking get back there. This looks suspiciously set up right here. Yep. We're doing this again. There's gonna be a sniper rifle or something. Unless I already have one. I do. Here it is. There's Francis. Derek, my brother. And his cocaine Frank, addict brother. I've gotta say, I'm nervous or wait, no. Shit. Derek's the one we just did that other mission myself. with, isn't it? Sit down. Why didn't you call me? You could have slept on my couch. I'm doing real well for myself. Real well. I'm sorry about how life turned out for you. Oh shit, I don't know who I want to shoot. I think... I think back in the day when I did this, I killed Derek. So I think what I might do is just kill Francis because I don't know what happens. Wow, he seems to really care. Okay. See ya, Francis. You fucking corrupt cop. That's kind of the reason I wanted to kill Francis, is because he is a corrupt cop. And also, I didn't like working for him, so now I know I'll never have to work for him again. Dude, I didn't even get in it. Fucking idiot. Oh, the problem is my dumb controller. Okay, we are good. We just have to get out of here. Okay, we got out of there good. Um, now I kind of, after it's done saving, oh, we're going the wrong way. Okay, so who are we going to see now? Who's this, Brucey? Bernie? Oh, okay, let's go see Bernie. See if we got ourselves a car. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, we're gonna see Bernie. And then we also got more thing. Where's the G at on the map? Oh, that's all the way back. Gambetti. Yeah, that's way, way, way back to the very first island. I thought we were done over there. Huh. Okay, so we just gotta get the, uh, Bernie. Oh, okay. Why is that guy going crazy? You good, bud? Here's their car. Bernie's car? No, not that one. This one. This is the car Bernie gave me. The Infernus. I hope the cash for this didn't come out of city funds. Which... I am definitely going to keep this, and the reason I'm going to keep it is because this is the only one in the story mode of the game. Um, and what I kind of want to do now is I want to go over here and go to Gambetti, because that is all the way at the first island, and I've been trying to do everything at the first island first. Um, so this is going to be a very long ride, so I will see you guys when we get there. Oh, he's at the hospital. Why is he at the hospital? I'm here to see Mr. Gavelli. I was sent by a mutual friend. Come on. Uh, someone here to see you. Yeah. Oh, so you're the one who's getting involved with that nonsense for my dear friend James Pegorino. I don't know what Spare you're... Spare me, please. I'm an old man. I ain't got much time left. Our mutual friend told me everything. Thank you. It made me laugh. <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs> people are so damn vain. Some people? <clears throat> All people. Even you, even me, an old man facing the end. And I still care. Care how I look. Care that when I shit myself, the pretty nurse has to clean it up. It's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, well, uh, you know. And I care about my legacy. I've worked hard for this, this line of work. Now some Russian assholes think they can march in and take control of rackets my family has run for 50 years. <laughs> you mean 50 years of you bleeding the city dry? Might finally come to an end? <laughs> I, I know it's a terrible <laughs> tragedy. <laughs> but if it wasn't me, it would just be someone else. So it might as well be me. Yes. Let me tell you, that faggot friend of yours, Bernie Crane, his boyfriend, he's being blackmailed by them damn Russians. They want him to put certain contracts up for tender. Windows, bus lines, cleaning, ones we control. These Russian fucking bastards are trying to finish us. What do you want me to do about it? I want you to work with me. In exchange for what? The police have a file on you an inch thick. In exchange for that. In exchange for that guy you've been asking about being brought here from wherever it is he's hiding, Switzerland or some shit. Okay, good. What do you want me to do? A good friend of mine is coming into town to give a speech on the new threat to Liberty City. Russian organized crime. I got a feeling some people ain't gonna want that speech to happen. May 
maybe the guy you love, this Dmitri Raskolov, has an interest in keeping the story out of the press. Make sure our boy gets to City Hall. <coughs> He's coming in from upstate. <sighs> He'll be at Grand Eastern Terminal on Bismarck. That sounds kind of far away, and I don't like that. At least I still got my Lamborghini. Am I just supposed to talk to this guy? Kill him? You guys waiting for me? Nico Bellic, right? Yeah, that's me. Yeah, buddy. Stay convoy with us all the way to City Hall. All right? Sure. Convoy. Pick up Bobby Jefferson. John, how are you? Of course. Well, I'm coming to see you. As right soon as through I'm a red light. Speech. Don't say that, John. You'll be feeling like a teenager again in no time. Those are the wonders of modern medicine. Well, I'm going to bring up everything we discussed. When I'm done at the podium, Mayor Ochoa is going to be dedicating half his annual budget to cleaning this problem up. <laughs> he doesn't want to start getting reckless with the lives of Liberty City voters. He wants you to turn right, Dumbo. No, John, if it's your problem, it's my problem as well. He'll go straight through a red light, but he won't turn right on red. Take a deep breath, John. That's it. I'll talk to you later. I can't even honk either, because if I do, he'll shoot for whatever reason. Driver, why is this road closed? Is there a problem? Another roadblock? This definitely wasn't mentioned on the traffic report. I'm going to go and move the barriers. Come on, Mr. Jefferson. Oh, wow. Get out of here. An RPG. Holy balls. Okay. How awesome of this. Up on the rooftop, click, click, click. There's so many people, and I do not have a good gun for this. Is that one of theirs? Okay, they're up on this roof. Come on, you fuckhead. I shot him right in the head. Somehow didn't do anything to him. Hello. Aw, oh, shit. Come on. It's like none of those bullets are hitting him. Okay. Get in a car. Oh, I will. That was a mistake they didn't want to make. If you're going to try to take out a politician, you better take him out for... You are quite a popular man, Mr. Jefferson. Mm. 
Oh. They're gonna get all fucked up there. Real good. Oh, we're going to that. Is this. No, this is a different place. Please make a U -turn. We're safe. Please proceed. We got him here. I don't know who you are, but you got me here. Goes to show. Some immigrants have the best interest of the country in their hearts. I'll tell John you did well. I hope so. I hope I did well. Okay. Well, since that is the uh, third mission for this episode, I'm going to be ending the video there. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. And if you did enjoy the video, check out one of my previous, next, and related videos, and don't forget to check out my social medias in the description down below.